At five, searching for evidence one day after a body was found floating in a backyard pool. 24 hours later, the circumstances surrounding the death remains a mystery. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live at the scene. So, Ted, are police saying anything more about how that person died? Yeah, Rick, right now, Hollywood police are releasing next to no information about this case. We don't know if there's a killer out there. We don't know if this is an unfortunate death. At this point, police simply aren't saying they left here about an hour ago after spending about 24 hours on the scene. Hollywood detectives spend a second day at the home of Greg Platzer. They carried out several evidence bags. They also searched the SUV in his driveway. Hollywood Fire Rescue showed up too, going into the backyard carrying a brush and some type of spray bottle. Investigators are being very tight-lipped about what happened here. Neighbors tell us Tuesday afternoon, a real estate agent found a body floating in the backyard swimming pool. I saw the body in the pool. Um, he appeared to maybe have a heart attack or something. Police are not saying how the person died, if it's a man or a woman, or if this is even a murder. This is a preliminary death investigation. Our detectives are actively working the case. Friends tell us they believe the victim is Platzer, but they too are being kept in the dark more than 24 hours after the body was discovered. Very sweet, sweet family, nice guy, very beautiful people. It's a Horrible tragedy if it is indeed him. Well, I ran across our friend, Greg Platts. How are you, sir? This is Platts in a YouTube video. He's in the marine industry. Friends at work tell us he has not been seen since Friday. They say he was about to move to Massachusetts to be closer to family. According to a co worker, he recently had trouble with a homeless man getting into his backyard. Some people from his work said that he sometimes had trouble with a homeless guy living in the backyard and using his pool. At least that's what he told a co-worker. Oh my goodness, I don't know anything about that and that's pretty frightening, isn't it? And we've been hearing several scenarios as to what may have happened in that backyard. We've been trying since yesterday to get any kind of confirmation from police as to whether or not this is a murder and at this point they're refusing to say. Live in East Hollywood, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.